I have an iPad Mini 2 here, and I replaced the digitizer connector, um, and then I turned it on, and uh, the LCD started flickering a little bit. So I uh, turned it off, reconnected it, and noticed that uh, one of the pins from the LCD connector was broken. So I tried to play around with it because the LCD connector is a pain in the arse to uh, replace. There, digitizer connector right here, LCD connector right here. So I played around with it, and it, the backlight. Uh, I mean, I kind of got it to work, but the backlight was was kind of dim, and it was missing this the eighth pin right here. Uh, two, four, six, eight, eight pin right here. And that really just goes to ground, so it, you know, probably not a big deal. But uh, um, I decided just well, I guess first thing was I came over here to the backlight filter, replaced that, and that it beeped, but it had beads of solder here. So I replaced this, and it still didn't work. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna replace this connector. Replace connector. Um, same thing. Backlight kind of flickers a little bit. So, um, I put a multimeter on the diode, backlight diode here. Okay, and it looks like it's a little bit brown right there. I mean, it doesn't look too bad, but. So it measures infinity in one direction and 1.9 volts in the other direction. I, I checked it with a, a working iPad mini, too, and um, I checked two of them, actually. And the good ones were like 0.19 volts. So I don't know what the hell that means, to be honest with you. So, and uh, so, anyways, I'm just gonna replace this diode and see if it works or not. Okay. I think that is the path of least. It's easy enough that I can just replace it and not have to really uh, think too much about it. You know. Looks a little bit diseased anyway. Anyways, it's part of the backlight. I checked all the other filters associated with backlight, so I don't I'm out of options there. And I did notice that the PMI say gets pretty hot too. So we're just gonna replace this because it's easy. And I'm just using a donor board for this, so but you can buy these on DigiKey for pretty cheap. I'm not sure if heat is the best way to do this, but that's what I'm going to do. Take an awful lot of heat. Let me try my. Try this. I don't want to burn shit up here, man. Maybe this will be easier. It's not either. Definitely not easier. Alright, let's just put some cap on on it, man. It's fucking around. I really don't want to burn shit up. Really don't want to burn shit up. I don't have to. A lot of people don't use Capton, but I like Capton. Keeps me out of trouble. Mm, that's the way I see it. Because
Trying to melt in. There's one, there's two. Okay. So JH goes this way. Let me just tin this first, make things a little bit easier. So. Easy pakeasy. This should be a lot easier. Alright, so JH goes that way. And let's use heat. I could probably use, um, anyways, this will be easy. I think. Fuck. God damn it. Uh, you piece of shit. Oh. <laughs> oh, my fucking lord. Where did my fucking diode go? Seriously, dude, I have one diode. And I don't know where it fucking went. God fucking damn it. Fuck did it go? There it is. I'm really starting to fucking hate these tweezers now. Piece of shit. Damn it. Okay. It's fucking hot. He's a shithead. All right. Well, let's we'll see if this works, man. I mean, if this is not it, I don't know what else it could be. Seriously. All right, you motherfucker, he better light up. I will sh fucking shoot you.
Ugh, we got a logo. It was a fucking diode. Piece of shit. Ugh, we got a bright logo. I wish you guys can see the beauty of it. Fucking shit. How did the diode go to shit? Alright, so... I guess diode testing. If it's greater than point whatever volts, then you're... F you're fucked. It's a fuck diode, right? So that's how we test it. So, diode mode, non-continuity mode. Right? Alright. We're good. So that's how you do it.